I forgot to turn off the turn on the microphone for the last video, so I get to start over. This is a prog. It is a predator, and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I'm hoping that this one finds a piece of meat. Otherwise, we're going to have a an awkward moment. Um, but most of the time, a prog only needs a single piece of meat in order to mature. And it looks like that guy is going to get it instead. That's fine. It's fine. If he dies, we'll go get a different one. Um, but So I've had these guys evolving on their own for a while now. And they are doing a fantastic job. Uh, frogs, they do not sit still. As you can see, they are turbo mode engaged the entire time. And they have been adapting to these guys, the, the orange guys. Those are carrot sharks. They're basically just big, dumb bibbits that uh, I spawn in to provide meat in a form that is just not a pellet, right? They have to kill them, they have to hunt them, otherwise they don't eat. And what a prog does is they won't eat the entire th shark, they will kill the shark, lay an egg, and then those babies will then eat, th eat that. Uh, the adults, as they get really big, often tend to um, not be able to turn hard enough in order to actually get the meat from the kills. So they will, they'll actually dust um, groups of meat pellets. They'll swim right past it, lay an egg, and actually give the food to the baby rather than eating it itself. Um, we will, oh, not that guy kill this guy because I want the oldest prog. Okay. So, the way that progs, as they get older, find and acquire enough food to actually sustain themselves is actually using their health bar to slow them down. If they start to starve, they'll slow down, and it makes it easier for them, and more they're more likely to actually get food in passing rather than just go by, which I think is a fascinating little feature. Let's see if we can... We did we did see a little bit of that with this guy as he did grab one. He was also able to lay an egg, so he's doing a good job. He's going to get eaten! Watch this. Progs eat each other. It's great. I'm completely okay with that. You know, if they if they don't survive on their own merit, they don't deserve to, they don't deserve to live. Death is a very natural and necessary part of the Bibbit simulation. If they don't die, they don't evolve, they don't grow, they don't get better. Uh, I do want to see them get ancient. Uh, however, they're not going to, because I turned their food down. Um, I did. I was spawning in 100 carrot sharks. It's down to 50. Um, they just. I want them to get better at hunting. And one way to do so is to just reduce the amount of food that they have available to them. Um, at, a at 100 carrot sharks, they were getting very large. Uh, and I had progs that were living for two hours. You know, now our oldest is less than, less than half an hour, which is, I think, solid. They're more than capable of producing enough eggs to uh, keep their population up. And... I am of the mind that if a bibbit is getting too old, they're overfit for their environment. And it's it's time to reduce their survivability. They have... So when I was engineering them, I had them at six hidden nodes, and obviously they are expanding. Three... Oh! Well, rip that guy. Three, six, nine... 12. We're up to 12 hidden nodes. I don't necessarily know what they all do. I haven't sat down and uh, taken the time to figure that out. There is one that would seem counterintuitive right here. N number of meats feeds into a an absolute, which feeds into rotation, which would lead you to believe that they're trying to avoid meat. And I think that that is a counter to the tick rotation, which just keeps them from going straight out into the void, right? This tick to rotate is just a staple of void avoidance. It's a good thing.
we need to have it. Let's see if we can. If this guy's going to kill him. I don't think he's going to kill the carrot shark. He didn't even see the carrot shark. It's fine. Let's let's do this. I'm going to grab the carrot shark over here and force him to respond. But see, he wants it. He wants that food. Go ahead and take it. It's yours. Free lunch. But uh, when they get a hold of a when they get a hold of something, they start growing fast. Um, grab is one of their primary means of uh, one of their primary growth triggers. And I, I I would rather have grab over fullness because I because meat is such a dense resource that it's best used actually as a way to store energy for between meals. Um, Meat in the stomach is not excess resource. It is part of their survival. They need to have it. Here we go. We're going to get another one. Eat that carrot. And this right here is exactly why I'm thinking about retiring carrot sharks as a food source. Because progs have just figured it out. Right? Um, and... If I ever want to see these guys go into like a tournament situation, there's a few things that I need. They need to be able to pursue tinier food, smaller food, because bibbits that perform well in tournaments typically are small. Uh, they also, I would like to see them get bigger. Um, and this is mostly, mostly because at the start, when you're first seeding and uh, seeding brogs into an environment, there's not going to be a lot of food for them around. And they need to be able to tank as babies that uh, that lack of food. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but that's how, that, that, that's how these guys are. Uh, I I, I don't know if I rem if I mentioned the blue pheromone, but blue pheromone is where they know how to know where to lay eggs. Um, basically, meat closeness spits out blue juice. Blue juice connects to this absolute value here, which says want to lay. This prevents progs from just spitting eggs out in the middle of nowhere where they have no chance of uh, maturing, no chance of growing into adult progs. See? Spits out blue juice, spits out egg. It's the circle of life. And it moves us all. That's all I got for you. They're wonderful little creatures. And yeah, they didn't naturally evolve. But they are evolving. Y'all have a good one.